biorhythms. What do biorhythms have to do with house cleaning? We're going to talk about that today. Hi there, I'm Angela Brown and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question and I get to help you find an answer. Now today's show is brought to us by MyCleaningConnection.com, which is a hub for all things house cleaning. And on there is a set of resources and one of the resources are training and consulting. So if you have a biorhythmic upside down day, which is what we're going to talk about today, you can find a coach that will help you put together systems for your business that will serve you in those down days. Now, what is a down day? Okay. You've all had a day where you wake up in the morning and things are not quite right. Nothing's really wrong, but things are not quite right. You might drop everything that you pick up. You might break something. You might stumble. You might trip and fall and stub your toe. There are all kinds of weird things that happen. It affects our business when the biorhythmic upside down mode hits the business model. For example, there was a house cleaner and she goes to a customer's house and she cleans the house and she's a little bit upset because the customer forgot to leave her money. So as she's getting ready to leave, she texts the customer. She's like, Hey, you didn't leave me any money for today. What, what's up? And the customer texts her back and says, you came and cleaned my house last Tuesday and you're not scheduled until next Tuesday. I didn't leave any money because this is not your Tuesday. Oh, and the house cleaner had gone and cleaned the wrong house. She was off a week. There's another house cleaner who had a hidden key and she takes the hidden key, opens the customer's door, goes inside, locks the door for safety, cleans the house. And as she was outside cleaning the back patio door, it closed and it locked her out of the house. The spare key to the house is inside the house. She was going to lock the door on her way out. So she's like, I'm so crazy. How did I do this? It's not that you're so crazy. It's that you're having a down cycle in the biorhythmic swing. Here's how it works. Back in the seventies, biorhythms became really popular and mainstream and people started studying and analyzing their biorhythms. Now everything in life works on a calendar or a cycle. For example, there are 24 hours in a day. There are seven days in a week. There are 30 or 31 days in a calendar month. So everything works in patterns. And if it didn't, our world would fall apart. So how this works is this humans also have a biorhythmic cycle. And so there are up days and there are down days, and it's based on your emotional, physical, and intellectual patterns. And so they don't all work in tandem. The cycles are different. There's a 23 day cycle, a 28 day cycle, and a 33 day cycle. And so those three elements, your emotions, your intellect, and your physical body do not work in tandem. Sometimes they do. And sometimes they're all kind of in an upswing. Sometimes they're all kind of in a downswing, but never at the same time. And so there are days where things are happening. Okay. So what happens when you wake up and you feel like you're kind of in the twilight zone? How do you run a business? How do you run a house cleaning business when you wake up and you're in the twilight zone? All right. So the answer is that you have systems in place. One of the systems that you have in place is that you leave 15 minutes early for your job. Let's say it takes you 10 minutes to get there. Leave 15 minutes early every single time, every single time. What happens is there are days you will get there five minutes early and you're like, wow, this is a waste of time. I could have just left 10 minutes early. You don't know what those days are though. You don't know when something in traffic is going to slow you down or you're going to get behind a school bus or whatever. So giving yourself plenty of time to get there every single time. Yeah. You might get there a couple minutes early. So pull off to the side of the road and check the stuff that you have to do for that customer that day. Remind yourself of the customer's names, remind yourself of the pet's names, remind you of the customer's hot buttons, all those things before you get to a customer's house. So you're a couple minutes early, no big whoop. But on the day when you're running a couple minutes behind, you will still get there on time. It's a safeguard for those days when your biorhythms are down. All right. Another thing that we do to safeguard our system and our business is that we do inventory every single day because on those days you're going to forget a vacuum. You're going to forget a mop. You're going to forget some cleaning supplies. There are things that are going to happen that when you get to a customer's house, you're going to go, oh, I'm going to have to stop what I'm doing and I'm going to have to run down to the store. I'm going to have to buy some new cleaning supplies. But if you do inventory at the end of every evening, that way your bags are packed, your caddy is packed, your vacuums are clean. You know exactly what you need for the following day. So even if you're having a, an off day, you can still jump in your car and go to a customer's house and deliver stellar service. Okay. Now, another thing that I might recommend is nothing you say on this day is going to make sense. Okay. You're in the twilight zone. 
It's almost like operating when you're inebriated. Your eyes are open and you are awake and you are functioning, but not quite at your optimum level. So if a customer forgets to pay you, don't call a customer on this day. Wait until tomorrow when your brain is back in whack and you're able to have a logical conversation with the customer. All right. So another thing that I might recommend, and this is a tiny bit off topic, there are Facebook groups that we participate in, and they are groups where we go for emotional and mental and business support. On this day, sit out, sit out of this group. Because what happens is when you get into a group and you start firing and you're not firing on all cylinders, you say things that can get you kicked out of the group. And I say this from a place of love and kindness. But as a, an administrator of a couple of Facebook groups, I've had to literally put people in timeout and say, please stop talking, go away, do not come back and do not post anything else in this group today because you are making people angry and you are making a fool of yourself. And in just a minute, you're going to get cut off from this group. And I would hate for you to lose all of the momentum and the friendships that you've made in this group because today you are in the twilight zone. And so <laughs> I hate to do this, but it's a word of advice. Okay. If you are not firing on all cylinders, yes, you can still work, but be very, very kind to yourself and be very careful because these are the days like you're vacuuming. For example, you will vacuum up a cell phone cord. I don't know why it just happens. They find you on these days. So when you're vacuuming, vacuum on high alert, take extra precautions to leave space around you. So you don't trip and bump into things and break stuff at a customer's house. The days when your biorhythms are down, are days when you will break stuff. And so we call it a bio fund. So every day take $5 out of your paycheck and put it in your bio fund. Then when you have a bio day where your bio rhythms are down and you break stuff, you can take money out of the bio fund and pay for it. Or you can take money out of the bio fund and pay the deductible for something huge that you've ruined because your judgment was poor. Bio fund. It's awesome. All right. So if you have bio rhythms and you do, because everything works in patterns. So if you're having a biorhythmic down day and you will, because that is the natural way that life happens. It happens in cycles. It happens in patterns. You want to brace yourself for those kind of days and you want to make sure that you are prepared for those kind of days. And when they come, don't beat yourself up over them because every house cleaner has them. You just need to be aware of them and you need to plan for them and look for triggers. For me, a trigger is being clumsy. If I'm being clumsy and I drop two or three things in a day, I'm on high alert. Oh, I'm having one of those days. So we won't have a conversation that day. I'll just kind of sit this one out and I will just make sure that everything I do, I give myself plenty of space and plenty of time and plenty of room so that I don't create collateral damage that I got to come back and clean up tomorrow. Anyway, that's biorhythms and how they interact and affect house cleaners. My two cents. And until we see you again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.